haven't seen this many people walk out of a theater since Under the Skin. But does that just mean this movie isn't for mainstream audiences, or it's just bad? This is a random Mr. Brown One's review of It Follows. <laughs> It Follows, directed by David Robert Mitchell, It Follows is about a young teenage girl who, after having a sexual encounter, contracts a demon-type persona that only she can see and follows her everywhere and she can't get rid of it. And that's all I'm really going to say for this one because I don't want to say that much. Going into this movie, I was not excited at all. All the trailers made it just seem like bad in my opinion, and overall I just wasn't excited whatsoever. But then I ended up seeing it, and... I have to say that this movie is great. So let's first let's start off with the negatives since there aren't that many. I mean to start off there is a there are these girls neighbors, the main characters neighbors who really are in like not even full scenes and it just felt really really unnecessary. Like one of the most unnecessary scenes I've seen in a film like ever. And I was just sitting there like kind of weird and another thing was that the parents weren't ever like really home and i was like where'd they go question mark because they never have any explanation of that whatsoever but besides that it follows is one of the best horror movies i've seen in a while and easily the best film i've seen so far this year for one the acting in the movie is really really well done michael monroe who was from the guest does a fantastic job in this movie i mean she kind of plays the same character the retro she was like because this movie is kind of most like retro and she plays like the same character but her like her being scared in this movie was perfect her acting in this was amazing and it looked like she was really like scared shitless and i gotta say if that thing followed me around sorry i just got a notification but if that thing followed me around i would be crapping myself because it was pretty frightening just watching this girl go on her journey Another thing that's great about the movie is the direction. The direction probably the best thing about this movie out of all the great things. But the direction has these long, eerie shots that you're just sitting there and you're like, Oh my god, can you please just finish? Like, I was scared in the theater and I don't really get scared that easily. I mean, last year there was only one movie I actually got scared of and that was Oculus. But I don't normally get scared of horror movies. So this, it made me like... I didn't ever close my ears or anything, but I was, I was in my seat. Oh God, what's gonna happen? So that's good when a horror movie can make you do that. So props to your director. Right in the movie, it's not cliched at all. It's actually a really, really original idea. I mean, who would come up with the idea of sexually transmitted demons? Thank you, Captain Vitus, for giving me that, by the way. Um, but yeah, overall, it follows is a fantastic horror movie that I highly suggests horror fans should check out, but not mainstream audiences because it's very similar to the Babadook in which it's not really affects like <sighs> there's no like jump scares for the most part, and I, I just don't think mainstream audiences would like this as much as just you know horror fans in general of the past because this is definitely kind of like a homage to like 80s 90s horror films. So in the end, I'm my final grade for it follows is a. Five out of five stars. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my links will be in the description as always. And until my next review, I'm Ryan Miss 411. See you all in the